the matter, dear? Nothing. I just need to rest for a moment. You know what? So do I. But sit down for a spell. Come up. On the steps of City Hall? That's illegal. Well, that'll be my first act as mayor, to make it legal for all elected officials with beautiful wives to rest on the steps of City Hall as long as I'm in office. How's that? Thank you very much, Mr. Barnum. You're entirely welcome, Mrs. Barnum. Impressive place, isn't it? The most respectable building I've ever seen, and it belongs to you now. You know, Jerry, looking at you here in the dark reminds me of that first night we met in that thunderstorm. And I know you were scared, but I kept wishing there'd be more lightning so I could see your face. And I shut my eyes every time the lightning did flash, so I didn't get a good look at you until they were standing at the altar. And by then it was too late. <laughs> now, Taylor, people are going to think we're foolish. Why? Two old folks sitting on these steps in the middle of the night holding hands. Who says we're old? I may have a few gray hairs and some laugh lines, but you don't look a day older than that first night we met. I thought you were through with humbug. Twenty-two or three the most, and that's the least humbugging thing I've said in my life. You're going to be wonderful in politics. Of course, I don't expect you to be mayor for more than one term. I've already got my eye on a Senate seat, and not the state Senate either. Sherry, you're talking about Washington. Head says you can do it, Taylor. Sherry, running for the U.S. Senate is nothing you toss a coin on. That takes pondering and considering and some contemplating and, and, and how come? In 25 years of tossing that coin, it has not once come up tails. I guess fate is just on my side, Taylor. That and the fact that this quarter just happens to have two heads. <laughs> You've stacked the deck! <laughs> All right. I'll run for your darn Senate seat. But it's because I love you. I would do anything in the world to make you happy. But you have humbugged me good and proper, and I am most displeased. Why are you smiling? Everything's going to be all right. We're quarreling again. The colors of my life. The colors of my life. Are softer than the breeze. Are bountiful and bold. The splendor of a sunrise, the ember that we feel, the dazzle of a flame, the hazel of a sea, the of a rain, the crystal of a rain. I am going to be stronger than ever. This is a nomination I worked hard for, and this is an election I don't plan on losing. Mr. Barnum, I'm afraid that there's been a slight postponement in your nomination. What are you talking about? What Mr. Templeton's trying to say is that the party's position has changed. 
We're nominating Mr. Alexander Whitaker. No. You see, I've been barnstorming for six months on the promise that I would get the nomination. The decision is out of your hands, Mr. Barnum. But in four years, you'll be our prime candidate. I don't want the nomination in four years. I told someone I'd be in Washington January. If I can't get the nomination now, I don't want it at all. That's enough. Get out. They took me, Jerry. They got me with a lie worse than any I've ever done. The 